In this video I'm going to show you how to do adaptive views for your design. I've zoomed out quite a bit on my workspace so that you can see that we've got three columns. By the ruler you can see that this is about 1600 pixels wide. Um, for the assessment in web design we're recommending 1366 pixels wide for your computer view and uh, 768 pixels wide for your mobile device view and we simply choose those exact numbers um, to make it easier for you to design. If you're designing something professionally you would want to make sure it works at a, a many more different, um, different widths of devices. Okay so what is adaptive design? Now if I just zoom out of this so that we can see this on the screen okie dokie there we go so we can see this right now so adaptive design means that as we shrink the screen you see how it chops that off it's not responsive it's not based on fluid widths where the columns shrink and get narrower um, they're a discrete width and so you actually have to once it gets to this point here change the the design so that it doesn't chop things off and it's actually not too difficult to do in axia rp we need to use adaptive views you will find that by going up to the menu and choosing project adaptive view sets we need to add an adaptive view set so base that's the one that is the default and with this you can choose uh, it has a lot of presets there I'm asking you in this unit not to choose a preset um, simply because many of them are too small and we just want to set a width anyway not a height so if we call this the computer view and 1366 pixels wide um, that's fine we can add another one and we can call this the mobile view and that will be 768 pixels wide and we can see we have two and on this one we have the option of inheriting so that means that it's inheriting the design from the computer view so in this instance we're not designing mobile first we're designing a computer screen first and then adapting the mobile accordingly so I click on OK so we now have an adaptive view uh, set called computer and mobile so that's all fine now it does not turn on by default uh, what we need to do is choose the page and you can see over here if I select the background of the page in the style tab of the the um, inspector pane we now have add adaptive views so let's click on that we want the computer and mobile adaptive view so I select that and now we have a lot more options available and it's saying hey do you want the 1366 pixel wide width and you can see here the one selected is computer it's kind of hard to figure out because they're both bright colors you would think they'd gray one of them out but anyway this is the computer view here um, now effect all views does something interesting we'll show you that later but I can actually switch between these views by going from computer to mobile and you can see that it gives us the width of the page now we talked earlier about the fact that Axia pages are infinitely wide and infinitely long um, by creating an adaptive view we put a boundary on it we say at 1366 pixels that's the edge of our page and to see what the mobile is we can click on that and see mobile so now we've added adaptive views in the next video I'll show you how you can edit the content on the pages so that it is different in the different views Thank you.